Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, I want to talk about the man who was arrested for dissing Prime Minister Andrew Holness because it seemed like he's sending some threats to file a lawsuit against the Jamaica government and also against the police force as well. You get what I'm saying? But he is also in fear of his life. You see me, a man fears that something might happen to him. You see me, I see a whole heap of people are saying, you know, I'm going like him a bad man and know him a fear hide or him a fear in a fear then. You see my people? So that's the story that I want to talk about today. But before I get into it, I need everyone watching this video to head over to my YouTube channel, News Mix. I'm going to put the link for that in the comment section. And also follow me on Instagram, Mix Up Time 4. And with that being said, let's get into the article. So it says, Lawsuit threat, arrested man family fearful of cops after expletive saga. Sent on resident Shaquille Higgins and his family have threatened to file a lawsuit against the police and the Jamaica government after he was arrested and cajoled into submitting a public apology for a foul mouth tirade against the Prime Minister. The confirmation came as the Commissioner of Police Major General Anthony Anderson ordered a probe into the controversial detention which a lawman had said was linked to a suspected case of larceny. Central to the law so maybe whether the allegations were trumped up, attorney at law Charles Ganga Singh, who is representing the Monique resident, has charged that the police action was a worrying trend, a state of overreach. The prospective suit could have at least four claimants, he said. It is a human rights issue, he said in an interview Wednesday with the Gleaner. Higgins and his family are also reportedly intimidated. They are also in fear of the police based on their invasion of the house at 11 p.m., he said. In a video posted on social media earlier this week, Higgins was captured spewing invective against Prime Minister Andrew Holness over a tightening of curfew hours to curb the transmission of COVID-19. Another video showed the police detaining Higgins at his home and taking him to the Monique police station. On Wednesday, Senior Superintendent of Police Stephen Lindsay, head of the police corporate communication unit, told the Gleaner that Higgins was subsequently released without charge. The latest incident is the third in 15 months where Jamaicans have blown their top aggrieved by the strict coronavirus regulations that have imposed nighttime curfews, limiting leisure, religious rituals, and entertainment. It has also raised questions about the independence of the police force under the leadership of Anderson, a confidant of wholeness and his former national security advisor. In April 2020, Dane Mitchell, a Jonestown St. Andrew resident, was arrested after a video went viral showing him uttering foul language at wholeness, Mitchell was one of several persons detained island-wide under the Disaster Risk Management Act. He was fined 60000 In March 2021, the Police Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigation branch carried out an early morning raid at the home of St. Anne Pastor Peter Chambers after he had posted videos predicting the death of Andrew Holness. Chambers was later released without being charged. Singh said the action by the police in these instances is cause for concern. Former member of Parliament Raymond Price in a release on Tuesday said the Commissioner of Police must confirm what basis in law of policy authorize a police officer, a sergeant at that, to be dictating to a citizen the words that the citizen should say into recording, which takes place in a police station and which is circulated to members of the public. In a press statement on Wednesday, the CCU said the commissioner had ordered an investigation into the circumstances surrounding Higgins' arrest. Anderson, in an internal memorandum sent to all staff, reminded all JCF members that breaches of the law must be dealt with in accordance with guidelines. Today, the commissioner reminded members that apologies are not to be solicited are coerced from members of the public. He is insisting that if an individual elect to apologize voluntarily, they may do this by their own means and circulate themselves, void of the police's participation, the CCU said. So yes, people, as I say, a lot of persons have their own opinions on this. Some people feel like it is very unnecessary for people to come on the internet and diss the Prime Minister, especially some people are style him as B-man. And you know, some people are say like the worst thing about him. And obviously people vex because of the 8, the 8 p.m. Um, curfew, right? But at the end of the day, you coming out there and saying certain things. You know, that now going to change the Prime Minister mind or anything like that, you understand? So I don't really know if there's a thin line between hate crime or hate speech and freedom of speech, you see me? You know, I think people are say, yo, you know, if you tell somebody certain things, especially somebody where have certain powers, then there is cost for um, the police them for arrest you or something like that. I don't really know people. 
But, you know, there might be some lawsuit coming to the Jamaica government. I don't know if the guy will win that. You know, obviously it's just, you know, some threat or some words being thrown around. We're not really officially sure if that's going to happen. You understand? So let me know what you guys think about this. At the end of the day, still, people, you know, me even see where an article says that um, in a Florida, I believe the mayor or somebody ordered the people them to start wear back mask indoors in our businesses because the CV-19 cases are going up back. You understand? And under the comments, I see a lot of persons that different Andrew Holness I say, look, people are going like only Jamaica last day and our rules, um, COVID-19 rules and them things. So, I don't know. People, honestly, I do not know what to say, but at the end of the day still, you know, if the police them arrest somebody for this, the Prime Minister, then there have to be some form of law that states that you can't do that, you see me? And as far as me know that, me not seen a law where say, you know, you can't come out and speak your mind. Well, at least I don't see it, you see me? I could be wrong enough people, but me not see it, you see me? If that was the case, I suppose they would have charged them, don't it? And the other set of people them who did get arrested and released, they would have charged them as well. So yeah, people, let me know what you guys think about this. You know, we see where more people come out since then. Basically, this in the Prime Minister. And it seems like them want to say, you know, I'm a big and bad. Don't come for me you now. And them type of thing. You see me? But as a nation, to be honest, we just need to do better. You understand what I'm saying? But know say the 8 o'clock curfew definitely mash up a whole heap of people, especially the entertainment industry, because you know say them people they rely upon the night time for make their money, dance, keep a night and party and them thing. They even some of the people them who sell out on the street. You know, sometimes they make their money a little dance, a little party and you know. So I don't know if I say people, honestly. You see me? Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, MixUpTime4. And also head over to my YouTube channel, News Mix. I'm going to put the link for those in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. Bless upon yourself. I'm out.